All right, guys, back with another video. Got two cards here. Um, pretty excited to grab them. One I got, you know, I think his cards are on the cheap right now, so definitely worth buying. Um, not the biggest fan, <laughs> per se, but I think he is a good buy. The other card, um, man, this set is so difficult to grade. And um, anybody who's been collecting it for a long time knows that the quality control around this, this, this product and... Um, these cards in general are pretty bad in terms of just what you get even coming out of the case. So anyway, we're stoked to grab it though. Got it for a really good price. So it's Carmelo Anthony E-Tops um, in a BGS9. So pretty excited about that. Um, just because, you know, they're numbered in terms of how many were produced. Super difficult to find a good grade. You see all the color borders and stuff. and the way they did it, they didn't use like recessed packages for these, so the corners get beat pretty good um, for almost all of E-Tops. So, super stoked to grab it. I think it's a pretty underrated card considering where the LeBron sits. Um, even the Dwayne Wade is pretty undervalued in my opinion. So, just something else on the rookie year to pick up that maybe down the line has a little more upward potential. I don't think it'll be a $1,000 card, but could it be a $100 card? Maybe. So, we'll see. Now, this one here... Um, you guys know I'm a big Steelers fan. I think the timing is right to buy this guy. And um, here we go. Antonio Brown. Uh, yeah, guy went crazy. Took a lot of big hits. Might have been crazy before the hits. I don't know. But I know that for the majority of the time he was in Pittsburgh, he was beloved by the Steelers fans. And the numbers he's put up in his career, even to date, are Hall of Fame numbers. Um, don't see why this guy wouldn't get in. And um, if you consider that the, the Megatron contenders goes for roughly, what, 200 bucks somewhere in that ballpark, um, raw. So, you know, picking this guy up in an 8.5, I think I paid 40 bucks for this card. So for me, that's a steal uh, with a 10 autograph. And, um, you know, you couldn't touch this card for under $100, $150, even in this grade, um, a year and a half, two years ago. So super stoked to grab it. I will probably end up picking up a gem of this eventually, a gem 10, just for my collection because I am a Steelers fan. But for right now, um, just wanted to add the card. So it does have a seven and a half surface. I can't find where the surface is bad on it. I may crack this and send it to PSA and try for a nine. Um, I did look very closely. And um, like I said, I, it might be up here in this corner. It looks to be like a little bit of a print line. But other than that, I couldn't really find much so all right guys hope you enjoyed it like i said collect what you like enjoy the hobby um maybe make some money along the way and if you don't at least have fun doing it so peace